Hi, today I'm going to sh show you how to start to hem your piece. This is a piece that I created for my son-in-law, and it's his dog named Coco. Uh, what I did first is I went ahead and steamed the piece uh, before I cut all out my monk's cloth. And sometimes I go ahead and, and steam the monk's cloth, iron monk's cloth, so it's smoother. So I went ahead and measured out an inch all the way around, and I had corners up here, and I went ahead and drew it. I um, uh, cut, uh, before I cut it out, I put Elmer's glue right on the edges, and then I went ahead and after it dried, cut it out. Um, so these corners had lines going straight across. They were three-fourths of an inch from the corner to this corner, straight out to the corner of the square. Uh, so I went ahead and cut those out, put, um, put glue on first and cut those out. So now I'm ready to do the initial part of the hemming, and which would be this, uh, go ahead and put your iron on steam and we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get it ready for hemming. All right, so I got my iron and you wanna first go ahead and do all your corners. So you wanna actually steam your corner ends down. Get this right. So it should be on steam. So it's getting hot, okay. My iron, for some reason, uh, probably stopped a little bit there because I hadn't been using it, but it's steaming. Okay, that's one corner. Go around and do this corner. Now it's steaming. <laughs> that really got steamed. Here comes another corner. Let's get it in view for you. You can do this corner. And I'm gonna go back and do the one that wasn't working. Get a little straighter. Okay, so now you can see them. All right, what, what's the next step? The next step would be to go ahead and steam along this edge. So we have a go across here like that. So we'll get the corners put together. Keep going around. All right, so what happens now? We wanna go ahead and when we are, we are ready to actually hem it, I would bend it over. I won't steam this part because it moves and I, I'd rather do it without uh, actually steaming that end. So, but you wanna start on a corner. So you're gonna bend this one over too and you're gonna start right in this corner here. And so I, I generally, I'm not a good sewer either, so I generally, and I've learned the more things of how to do it, generally start on one side and connect it and then uh, to the actual piece of uh, the punch piece. And then I go back and forth all the way across. And then you put your, you go ahead, I'll show you one that's done, you put the, the um, needle right underneath that and bring it all the way out and go ahead and start sewing this corner all the way till you get to another corner. So this is an example of one that is completed. Um, and, and I'm sure there are lots of other videos on actually somebody sewing it up. But I just wanted to say, to show you the first stages of what you wanna do when you wanna start hemming it. Now you can finish this other ways. You you could go ahead and uh, uh, do um, a whip stitch all the way around it too. If I decided I'd rather have this side 
showing, which is uh, obviously the back side, but clearer than the fuzzy fun side. Um, I you and you wanted to whip stitch it because um, it's a little hard to go on this side and try to bring that back. I think um, I probably wouldn't have done this color here. I would have just made that my whip stitch. So you could have left that one out. All right, well, I hope this is helpful on how to get started with uh, hemming your piece. Um, and and this is, this is for the regular um, Oxford punch, but you could also do a bigger piece with the finer Oxford punch and hem it too. Okay, thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed it.